about to give them what they want. I don't think they're ready for this, though. Beast mode. 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 All right, all right, guys. Doing some intra pump BCAs to get hydrated. Y'all already know, Entry Pump BCAs at TigerFitness.com and the Pump and Grind pre-workout, two new flavors just dropped at TigerFitness.com. About to give y'all a tutorial on trap bar deads. Yeah, those trap bar deads. We're getting a lot of questions about trap bar deads. So y'all stay tuned, let's get to it. What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Beast Mode Jones, representing Palm Chasers. Got my brother right here. Tell him about yourself real quick before we Heck start. Hector Marchena. You can find me at Hector underscore Marchena on Instagram. And there it is, guys. Long time family, long time friend right here. So I want to show you a movement right here that I really love. It's great for the lower body. So ladies and gentlemen, this is great for you. It's called the trap bar deadlift. Now people are going to always ask me, what about the conventional deadlift or the sumo with the barbell? Barbell deadlifts are great, but let me tell you something. You better make sure your form is on point. A lot of motherfuckers have fucked up their back fucking with those barbell deadlifts. I feel like trap bar deads is the easiest one to learn. Not only is it easy to learn, it's safe on your lower back. You know, I'm not a power lifter. I'm not trying to get no gold medals or none of that shit. I just want to look good and look whole ready. And keep that skeleton right there on point. Okay, that's your foundation right there. Take care of your skeleton. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just, you know, heck, do you do this a lot? I don't usually do Exactly, that. so it's going to be kind of fun. I'm going to naturally teach him how to do this the same way I would teach a client. So go ahead and take your shoes off. As you see, guys, these shoes are not good for deadlifting. You want some flatter shoes, you know, or something. You can go barefooted or some hard, flat shoes. It's best. Because keep in mind, you're literally generating power from the ground. You're literally pressing the ground away from you with your feet. So you want to have a good connection with your heels and your middle foot, your mid foot on that ground. Everything starts from the ground up, literally. I know we focus a lot on the back and the legs and all that shit, but all this shit starts from the bottom. So good thing your shoes off. Now let's start. Let's go ahead and get on it, and I'll just coach you along the way. See what you're messing up at, and hope that people watching this video can learn something. All right. So pretty much just. Yeah, do, do how you normally do. I just correct you where I see you off at. It's no big deal. Give me uh, four of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, that's enough. Okay. Some of y'all pause this video. Let me know where y'all think he went wrong. What do you think you might have been wrong? You were in, you were in, you were in the zone. What do you think you might have been wrong? <laughs> well, like I said, I don't usually do yeah. it. So I'm guessing like m maybe my posture in the back, lower back, or no, it wasn't bad. Oh. I'm gonna show you where you went wrong. One, cause keep mind you don't notice because it's just light. Yeah. I wanna do a heavy set after we get the tutorial <laughs> down. One thing is, you just came straight up. You know how when we slide weight on this bar. You know, even though it's a perfect fit, the reason why it's able to slide on and off is because there's a little bit, very, very tiny bit of space mm -hmm. that's called the slack. So look right here. See that? Yeah. Dude, you might see people deadlift and when they just, it's called the grip and rip. When you just grip it and rip it, sometimes you see people do a jerk and then they come up, that's why. So you don't notice because it's just light. You know, and now that you now that you mention it, I've noticed that. Oh, yeah. yeah, people going heavy, like <laughs> one point five or twice the body weight, then you'll notice the flaws yeah. in the form. That's just very important. That shit can fuck your back up in the long run. So just make sure you uh, consciously pull that slack out your bar, not with your arms. Your arms are like hooks, yeah. with your glutes and hips. You know, see that? Bam! Stand up, slack, bam. You know, it doesn't even take, take a whole second. It takes half a second, literally. To pull that little slack off and stand up. All right. Now do four more one more time. They're gonna add some weight because things change when you got real weight on here. That's better. Okay. Alright, 
enough. Another thing I noticed too, on your first couple reps it was good, and then the last couple was a little off. You know what you did? Okay, you were looking at yourself. <laughs> then believe it or not, bro, this the, okay. look at yourself to fuck you up. Cause as bodybuilders, we love yeah. curls in the mirror and yeah, stuff. Yeah. But notice powers when they when they powers the squat, there's no mirror. Yeah. You and gotta just, focus yeah. on the mechanics. Because let me tell you this, you might not realize it, but the eyes are very in tune with the brain. Mm -hmm. Your brain is literally trying to keep your image in focus. And the issue is your image is moving. So it's too focused on trying to keep your image in focus and not focus on that spine and shit that's very important. And this is the funny thing too. You keep your spine in a neutral position. Notice when looking up, that's causing me to have to extend, mm -hmm. right? I'm extending at the spine, right? People, people don't realize, come on, real quick. The spine breaks off in sections. Yes, it's one long, it's one long bone, right? But it breaks off in sections. Notice the lower back, I got it locked down here, but I'm still moving this part. Yeah. It breaks off in sections, okay? Don't forget that. So, the cervical spine, notice I got it neutral, I just got it relaxed, right? I'm focusing on my heels on the ground, focusing on that slack. I'm not even looking at myself. Now look at this, my eyes are closed, look. I stand up, I'm in full attention now, look, open my eyes, I see myself now. Kind of like in life, I see you at the top, I see you at the fucking top. You yeah. feel me? Don't worry about the other shit. If you're doing this shit right, and once you get to the very top, you'll see yourself, yeah. all right? Now, let's go ahead and put some weight on here and say you cheer out of your way. We can't leave you out here with one plate, man. <laughs> Right now? 172, 73. All right, cool. Now we got some weight on here, let's get it. Good. There you go. So many people overthink this movement. Just simply stand up. That's it, just stand up. And everything takes care of itself. Yeah. Make sure you connect with the ground with your feet. Push away from the ground. Push away from the ground. Yeah, good shit. Get one more, and that's it. Good shit. There it is. This is really good for your leg strength, posterior chain, all posterior chain all together. Grip strength, you name it, guys. You know this one more time. This is very important, guys. Very important. You want to strengthen all the muscles around it, so this is a good way to get that in, all right? I guess I'm gonna get five with you. Heels in the ground, I'm gonna make sure I feel my feet in the ground. I don't, don't even start until you feel all that pressure on your feet, all right? Bam. Stand straight up. Bam. Straight up. Bam. Straight up. Bam. See my head? Bam. See my head? Bam. Bam. The other mistake is don't bounce. Don't do shit like this. That vibration is unpredictable. You want every rep the same. You know, all that vibration bouncing off the bottom can fuck up your lower back, especially once you start getting to that heavy ass weight, all right? Let's go ahead and do three wheels and send you guys off. You can work a little smarter, not harder, guys. Put a little plate on the weights. There we go. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, once I'm putting three, four, five wheels, you want to save your energy. Here we go. All right, keep them hands nice and dry, get a good grip. Get a nice grip, my forearms working, baby. I haven't done it in a long time either, so. Man, break, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. You gonna feel the testosterone <laughs> just screaming through your body. All right, here we go. Let's get it. It's really good for your growth hormone, guys, working your whole body, man. Working them legs, too. Get that growth hormone in your body. There you go. Pull that slack, there you go. Blow through the feet. The rest takes care of itself on the form going point. The rest will take care of itself. Two more. Mm -hmm. 
Good shit, man. Good shit, we get something with you, fuck it. I already trained earlier this morning, but man, I'm jealous. Get that core tight and just press through the ground. The rest will take care of it. So don't overthink this. It's a very simple movement. Just stand up. Don't forget, the most important part is that head. I'm telling you, believe it or not, looking at yourself, it can fuck up your lower back. All right? Keep that spine neutral. All right? Here we go. Slack off now, watch. One. Two. Slack. Three. Slack. Four. Pull slack. Five. Pull slack. Six. Every rep should be the same. Pull the slack. Seven. Pull the slack. Eight. Every rep should be the same. Pull the slack. Up. One more. Pull the slack. Bam. There it is. The trap bar dead. You already know, my boy Hector, hit him on Instagram. You like these shorts we rocking? We got these and we got those running shorts as well. Pumpchasers.com. 10% off code is Hector 10. You like this shirt right here? Beastmode316.com. Along with my high volume programs. And my programs come with video tutorials. So you don't fuck up on your phone. Phone is very important. All right? And you already know TigerFitness.com for those pump chaser subs. Fuck with your boy. Peace.